Hello, everybody. So today we are going to start on a series and it will be the chakra series. So we're going to work through all the chakras from the bottom of the spine all the way up through the crown of the head. And we're going to take each chakra and do one for each class so that we can really focus and um, stay with that particular chakra and understand how the chakra works in conjunction with what's going on in our poses. So as we go through this series, you're going to notice that a lot of the poses we do are exactly the same in um, as far as the flow goes, goes, but we are going to focus on a chakra and understand how the pose can feel very different depending on what it is that we're working on. So the first chakra that we're going to start with today is uh, Muladhara. It's our root chakra and it's located right at the base of the spine. You can really kind of think, think of tailbone as a location, but it has a lot more to do with just than a particular bone. It has to do with energy drawing into that center and down from that center. And our first chakra, Mudara, is um, its element is earth. So it's our stability, it's our grounding, it's getting strong. So this is gonna be a strong practice. Um, just know that whatever level you practice at, you can do this. Just take things as you need to, as you need to, make adjustments, you know, using hands and knees and all that kind of stuff that we've gone over in a lot of the other previous classes. But just take it as it comes and enjoy it. Let's go ahead and start. Oh, and also, if you have a strap, maybe have it right by the side of your mat, we're going to use that a little bit in the beginning. So let's go ahead and start on our backs. Go ahead and lay on your backs. <clears throat> and let's start in um, Sukta Baddha Konasana. So laying on our backs with the soles of our feet together. So taking your bottom of your feet together and bringing your knees down. Now, this might not be comfortable for some folks. So if you have blocks, you can take them and rest them underneath your knees or under your thighs, just wherever it feels comfortable so that you're not feeling strain here in the low back. Maybe take your right hand to your belly, left hand to your heart, just so we can start to feel our breath here. As you start to breathe in, feel the chest rise, feel the belly rise, feel those hands move. And as you exhale, feel everything soften. Go ahead and start breathing in and out through your nose. Feeling that big expansion as we're just walking around during the day and we really don't think about our breath. It's something that naturally happens. But many times we keep our breath right up around in the chest area. So I really want you to feel that belly rise, feel that hand lift as you breathe in. That breath all the way down. start to activate our root chakra right away. So as you take your next exhale, I want you just to gently press the soles of your feet together and start to feel the entire hip component, especially down low in the pelvis, anchoring strong. And then as you inhale, let it go. Relax. As you exhale, gently press the soles of your feet together. You can feel a lot of muscle groups working. That's good. Inhaling, softening, exhaling, pressing those feet together. Feel like you're drawing your belly in and up as well and feel that whole anchoring in the pelvis. Exhale, soften. A couple more times. As you exhale, press those soles of your feet together. Inhaling, softening. Good. One more time. Good. And then slowly reach down with your hands, grab the outside of your thighs, help them back up into center. Go ahead and draw your knees into your chest. Just loosen up, rock around. 
So that feeling of anchoring in, in the low pelvis is something we're gonna work on today. Take your arms out to a T position. Now I want you to imagine that your legs are wrapped up really tight here. So start to anchor and then let the hips go all the way over to one side. And know that your left arm may come up off the mat. That's fine, reach it above your head. Maybe even take your right hand, grab your left wrist. Find some good length here. Take a deep breath, feel the entire side body from the top of your hip all the way up through your rib cage expand. Good, and then anchoring in the hips, bring those knees back into center. So still imagining they're wrapped up together, bring them around to the other side. And same thing, maybe the right arm reaches up. You grab and reach. Take a big breath, feeling that space all the way up the side of your hip into your rib cage expand. Good. Anchor, bring it back into center. Okay, grab your strap or a towel, or you don't have to have a strap either. But we're gonna be pressing away, so your arms definitely won't be long enough. So you can do this without a strap tied to your foot. It's gonna be the same thing. So we're just using the strap here as something to feel weight drawing downward on. So as you reach your leg up and try and push the foot towards the ceiling, then I want you to start to anchor down in the hip. Good, almost feel that tailbone draw down towards the floor and feel more power at the back of your hip. Engage your quadricep, flex the foot. Good, so finding length, but also finding that stability. Good, and of course you can reach this bottom leg out. If you want to, you can let it hover and really plug that left thigh bone up into the hip too. So now we're creating a lot of energy in the low pelvis, really stable and strong. Slowly bring it back up. And then switch feet. Let's take the left foot, reach that leg straight. Same thing, now you don't have to have a strap, you can definitely reach without the strap. But this gives you something to kind of anchor on and feel that left hip now drawing down, anchoring the left hip to the floor. Go ahead and engage the quadricep, flex that foot, find power. So flexing the feet, finding energy in our feet is really important today. We have to keep the energy moving downward, outward. So maybe start to extend the leg, flex that foot. Good. Now feel like you're plugging that right hip up in. Good. Feel the inner thighs get stronger. Feel everything really anchored in the pelvis. Good. So this replicates a lot of our standing poses that we're doing when we're driving down, but also drawing strong up in the pelvis. Good, bring it in. Under your strap. You can rock up to seated two ways. You can either roll to your right side or just gently cross your ankles, hands behind your knees, and take your weight up. Very good, let's make our way to our hands and knees and press back just for a moment to child's pose. So close knee or wide knee child's pose. Just find it, ease around in it, and know that you can come back here in child's pose at any time during your practice. If you feel tired, need a little break, or maybe we're doing something that's not appropriate for you, totally come back here. And just find child's pose. Maybe walk your hands around to the right, reach that left arm, breathe, and everything, the side of your hip, stretching, deep breath. And then walk around the other side. Good. Bring it back up into center. Rock up to your hands and knees. Spread those fingers out nice and wide. Tuck your toes. And let's make our way into our first down dog. Good. Let your head go. Ease around. And then we're going to find some length and some strength through the legs and into the hip. So from here, I want you to take your, soften your left knee. So make that leg really inactive. Take your right heel and really reach it towards the floor. So you're feeling a calf stretch. Now engage your quadricep to feel the hamstring length. Now lift the tailbone a little upward. Feeling a little more length. 
Now let's activate that root chakra. I want you to do that by feeling like you're dragging the mat back just a little bit with those right toes and feel everything get stronger. And that hip, the low part of the tailbone engaging. Good, soften, soften the right knee. Let it be really soft. Good, take your left heel, reach it for the floor. Good, engage your left quadricep, feel the hamstring lengthen, and know that your heel might not be support us fine, it doesn't really matter. Engage the hamstring, lift the tailbone just a little bit, just a little more length. Good, now let's really activate that left hip. Feel like you're dragging the mat back with your toes. Feel the hip itself get stronger, down really low. Good, soften, ready to pedal now. Good, take a nice breath. And come into your cat cow, into your hands and knees. And we're going to go into cat cow. So we're going to go into cat cow thinking about being stable and strong in the hips. So take a neutral spine, neutral spine breath. <laughs> Inhale. And on your exhale, exhale from the belly, rounding up. But I also want you to draw from the hips. So feel like you're drawing the tailbone down, engaging the inner thighs, and feeling really strong in the base of the tailbone. Good, now as you inhale, the cow, really let that go. Let it completely soften. Good, as you exhale back into the cat, obviously thinking belly, but I also want you engaging inner thighs, thinking low part of the tailbone, low part of the glute strong. Good, inhaling into the cow, letting it go. Good, exhale into the cat. Good, thinking root chakra. Good, feel that stability there, inhaling into the cow. Exhaling to cat. Feel those hips. One more time. Good. Exhaling. Low part of the tailbone. Inner thighs. Low pelvis. Good. Bring it back to your neutral spine. Tuck your toes. Back to your down dog. Shake it out. And then make your way to the front of the mat for your first forward fold. Now your hands do not have to touch the floor. You also have the option of blocks here. So you use whatever props feel best for you, all right? Maybe cross your arms, hold on to your elbows for this first one. Soften the knees, sway a little side to side, loosen up. Good. And then I want you to make sure your feet are hip width. And look down at your feet, spread those toes out. I want you to think, your, think of your foot as a tripod. So you have the base of the big toe, the base of the pinky toe, and the entire heel. So it's really stable. A lot of times we give a cue, think of all four edges of the foot, but I really want you to feel like a tripod. A tripod's more stable, right? So press down, base of the big toe, pinky toe, heels. Soften the knees. Now really push down to the floor, like you're trying to push the floor further away from you, and you're gonna feel that root chakra fire up. Now keep pressing away as we inhale, bring it all the way up tall. Exhale, Samastitiki, hands at our heart. So we're gonna go through half sun salutations thinking about that stability, inhale. As you exhale, bend the knees, feel like you're trying to press the floor away as you fold. So those knees are gonna stay soft and bent. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Good, think about root chakra, exhale, fold. Good, inhale, press the floor, we sweep up tall. Exhale, Samastitihi. Let's do that again. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, press the floor away. Good. Now, if you have a block, maybe you grab it and put it between your inner thighs, and you're really going to feel this. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. You're going to feel a root chakra right there engaging that block. Exhale, fold. Good. Press the floor away. Inhale, sweep up tall. Exhale, Samastitihi. So, a block's a great tool here if you want to use it. Inhale. Exhale, press the floor away, fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Good, feel the root, strong, supporting the spine. Exhale, fold, inhale, sweep all the way up top. Good, exhale, Samastiti. One more time, inhale. Exhale, fold. Now if you have the block, go ahead and remove it. <clears throat> Good, so from here, we're gonna take our right hand down to the floor or a block. We're going to soften the right knee. Let the left hip shift back. 
Good, and then start to reach the left hand up, finding a twist. We do this a lot in many, many classes, but let's try to find root chakra here. So as you're reaching up, I want you to feel like you're engaging the low part of your hip. Feel the glutes, feel the belly all work together, but feel the low part of that tailbone. Lengthen your spine, find a little deeper twist. So you're feeling that left leg very strong all the way running up into your hip. Good, bring it down other side. Soften the left knee, let the right hip shift back a little bit, reach your right hand up. Good, now the same thing. As we start to engage, feel the low part of the hip get strong, that tailbone. Feel the right leg plug in, just like we did laying on the floor with that leg extended. Good, reach. Good, let's transition to the other side again and plug right into that root. Inhale. Good, and back to the right, plugging right into that root. Inhale. Good, one more time, each side. It's really important to learn how to just plug in and activate, find that strength and stability. One more time. Good, bring it down. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Plug in, find your root. Good, and then exhale, make your way to down dog. Awesome, and then up on your toes, inhale into your plank. Good, now in our plank, we know we're always driving the floor away. Good, I want you to activate the quadriceps. And then start to think about root chakra, engaging right at the low pelvis. Feeling your belly strong. Good, one more breath. Rocking forward. Good, take the knees to the floor. Let's chaturanga all the way down to the floor. Good, I'm gonna wiggle back since you've lost me on the screen. <laughs> Good, now from here, we're gonna go into locust pose. I want you to press the pelvis down. Feel that root chakra get a little stronger. So feeling strong right at the end of your tailbone. Good, reach the arms back. Let's keep the feet down on the floor for right now. Reach the arms back, turn the palms down. Inhale, lift. Now feel all that energy translate from your head all the way down your spine, all the way down into root chakra. Good, take another breath here. Good, keep pressing the top of the feet down to the floor. Keep those legs really active. Good, exhale, bring your hands down. Press back through your knees. Maybe route through a close knee child's pose. And then make your way into down dog. Good, shake your head out. Yes, no. Good. We're going to start to move a little bit. Reach your right leg up. Bend your knee, open your hip. Reaching your left heel for the floor. Think about this being a good place to find that root chakra. Engage the glutes towards each other. Feel the low part of the tailbone strong. Take a breath. Exhale, step the right foot up to the outside of the right hand. Good, so it's wide. Keep the left hand down, sweep the right hand up. Wide twisting side angle. Now, feel this right hip shift back. Feel that root get stronger. Feel the pelvis get stronger. Good, take another breath. Good, exhale, hands come down. Drop the back knee, rock a little forward on that back knee. We're just gonna go into a little stretch. So, only do this as far as your leg feels comfortable going. This might create a little Charlie horse in your hamstring. If your hamstring's not used to the strength to pull this leg up, if you want to reach back to your foot and then press the foot into your hand, finding more stability and strength in your pelvis. Take another breath. Good, exhale, bring the hands down. We're gonna step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. So a big step to get up there, moving into Malasana. First one can be a challenge. So, and especially if your knees aren't comfortable bending past 90, stay right here. Or you can take a block. You can have a C on block. That's another way to find it without getting too low. Good, so from here, I want you to engage the knees towards the arms and press the arms towards the knees. Find power down low in that root. Feel stable and strong. Keep that power, press up, forward fold. Good, move your block if it's there. Walk the feet back in, hip width. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Again, feeling root stabilize that spine. Exhale, fold. Good, inhale, press the floor away, sweep up top. And Samasthiti. Good, Utkatasana, chair pose. 
Bend the knees, shift the weight back. Back into that root chakra. I want you to feel everything wrapping in down there in that root. Engage the belly. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, reach the arms back, clasp your hands. Good, inhale, open the chest, keep that root. Exhale, hinge, pull. Good, maybe roll around here. Keep those knees a little soft. So you can keep that tailbone lifted, finding length in your spine. Good, release your hands. Now again, if knees don't like passing 90, you're gonna stay right here or come up on your toes, have a seat on your heels. Good, engage the hips. So feel everything draw in, almost floating a little bit up off those feet, getting strong and root chakra inhale. So it's our stability. It's rooting towards the earth. So as we root down, we can find more balance. Exhale, we find more strength one more time. Exhaling, forward fold. Good, inhale, lift that. Exhale, make your way to down dog. Good, we're gonna move through a chaturanga vinyasa. We did locust before. We're gonna do cobra this time, but no locust is always an option to come up on your toes, roll into your plank, find that root. Good, stay here in your plank for a moment to feel it. Rocking forward, take the knees, you can leave the knees up or take them to the floor, either one. But once you get past this point, please take them to the floor. Good, good, now from here, fingertips in line with the armpits. Good, root that pelvis down, inhale, cobra. Good, feel like you're pressing the top of the feet a little into the floor too. Exhale, press back through your knees, down dog. Let the head go. Good, reach the left leg up. Bend your knee, open your hip. Good, reach the right heel down. And then think again about root chakra. Engage the low part of the glutes. Feel a little more openness, a little more strength there. Good, take a nice inhale. Exhale, step the left foot up to the outside of the left hand. With wide twisting side angle, reach that left hand up. Good. Now let's create some energy here. Feel that left hip engage back more. Feel the root get stronger. Good. More energy in the pelvis. Take a breath. Good. Exhale, bring the hand down, drop the back knee. Now rock slightly forward on the back knee so you get to the top of the kneecap. So we're not pressing down into that. Good, start to bend. Good, feel that hamstring. Now, if it feels comfortable to stay here, reach back for your foot. Grab your foot and then press your foot into your hand. Feel all that energy translate back up into the pelvis. Good, take a breath. Good, exhale, release. Step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. We're gonna move back into that malasana again. So remember, you can be on your knees. You can have a seat on a block or bring it down as far as you feel comfortable. If you're coming all the way down here to the bottom, start to think about those toes angling straight ahead. Good, and then press down into the feet, press down into the earth. Good, engage the knees towards the triceps, triceps towards the knees. Feel that root chakra fire up. Take a deep breath. Good, and press up forward, fold, pushing. Good, walk the feet back in, hip width. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Root chakra, always there. Exhale, fold. Good, sweep up tall, press the floor away. Inhale. Exhale, samaskiti. Good, utkatasana, chair pose. Bending those knees, shifting the weight back, firing up in the head, firing up in that root chakra. Belly strong, arms reach up, inhale. Good, exhale, reach the arms back. Clasp your hands, inhale, open the chest. Keeping those knees bent, exhale, fold. Good, let the head go. Roll down here. Good, release the hands. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, step back to your down dog. So we've done locust pose for vinyasa, chaturanga vinyasa. We did cobra pose. This time we can do up dog too. And know that all three of these are completely interchangeable. And please 
Mix them up. Don't do just one all the time. Inhale into your plank. Good. Fire up your chakra. So today, as we move through a chaturanga vinyasa, I really want you to pause for a moment here in your plank and find that root chakra. Maintain that root in the, in the low part of the tailbone, but also pressing down through the arms as you rock forward. Good. Maintain it as you lower into your chaturanga. And if you want up dog, let it go. And link it upward. Good, exhale. Down dog. Let your head go. Stay here in down dog a moment. Take a breath. Very good. And come up on your toes. Make your way to the front of the mat. Forward fold. Good. Inhale, lift up, find the root. Exhale, fold, really stabilizing. Inhale, sweep all the way up tall. Exhale, samastiti. So we're gonna go through full sun salutations. Things are gonna start to move a little more. I do want you to pause in that chaturanga, find your root, and then choose whatever back then option that you want, all right? Locust, cobra, up dog, or anything else of your choosing. Or not at all. <laughs> That's my two. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, press the floor away, fold. Think root chakra the whole time here. Inhale, lift half. Exhale, back to your plank. Hold that plank. Find your root. Be strong. Rock forward. Chaturanga. Anywhere you want to be. Good. Exhale, back. To your down dog. Let the head go. Think about root chakra as we get ready to come up to the front of the mat. So our, our hands, our arms, these are now our legs. Up on your toes, bend your knees, press, step up, forward fold. Inhale, lift back. Exhale, fold, pressing the floor away. Inhale, all the way up. And then right back down, push the floor away. Continue that mental stability of root. Inhale. Exhale. Step back to plank. Finding your root. Rocking forward. Chaturanga. Keeping that root. Up dog, cobra, locust, whatever you want. Exhale. Down dog. Good. Take a breath. And so I want you to follow me on these next chaturangas with a back bend. We're going to really look at what's going on in the root when we get there. Up on your toes, bend your knees. Step up to the front, rooting down. Good, inhale, half. Find that stability. Exhale, fold. Sweep up tall, pressing the floor away. Right back down with your exhale, forward fold. Good, inhale, lift half. Exhale, plank first. Good, find that plank, find your root, rocking forward. Chaturanga, we're going to the floor. So if you're going to the floor, put the knees down once you pause that halfway. Now we're going to do locust pose. I want you to press the top of the feet down, anchor the pelvis down. Reach the arms back, locust. So a lot of root chakra still happening here in this back bend. Good. Exhale. Bring it back down, dog. Good. Come up on your toes. Bend your knees. Step up to the front. Forward fold. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Press the floor away. Inhale, sweep up tall. Exhale, right back down. Inhale, lift half. Exhale, find your plank. Good. Find your root. Rocking forward to the floor again. Knees go down. Once we're halfway. Cobra pose. Top of the feet press down to the floor. Fingertips in line. Press the hips down. Root chakra still angry. Exhale. Take it to down dog. Let your head go. Good. Up on your toes. Bend your knees. Step up to the front. Forward fold. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Sweep up tall. Inhale. Right back down. Exhale. Now this time we're going to do up dog. Notice the difference. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, step back to your plank first. Go. 
good. Find that root. Good. Rocking forward. Now this time we stop and pause halfway. You have to hold on to the root like crazy here. Top of the feet to the floor, still holding on. Once we lift up, the up dog, let it go. Keep reaching through the legs, but don't anchor so hard in the hips. Good, exhale, down dog. Good, stay here, holding down dog. All fours, whatever feels good. Good, take a breath. Come up on your toes, bend your knees, step up to the front, feel my fall. Good. Maybe stay here in forward fold. Reach down, grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Inhale, lift back. And then on your exhale, just an easy strength in the arms to pull the crown of the head towards the floor. Good. Just do a looseness in the middle, upper back. Feel that traction for your lumbar spine, keeping those knees a little soft. Inhale and tap. Exhale, fold. Sweep up tall. Inhale. Exhale, Samasthi. Good. So we're going to move into Sun Salutation C, but we're going to do it with a high lunge. So we want to be able to step back and anchor into that root before, before we come up. All right? Any back bend choice you want to. <laughs> I know I said that earlier and then I took it away, but now I really mean it. <laughs> Inhale, tap. Exhale, fold. Stepping back with the right leg. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Anchor root. Sweep up. Good. Exhale, right into your chaturanga vinyasa. Find your root in that plank. And then move through whatever back bend you want. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Down dog. Right leg reaches up right away. Inhale. Exhale, stepping up high crescent lunge. So we have a good chance here to anchor before we come up. So press the floor down and draw that heel back. Inhale. Exhale, step it up forward fold. Now if you do it through standing splits, you can really feel the anchoring of that root chakra. Inhale, lift half. Exhale, fold. Sweep up tall. Inhale. Good, samasthi to here. Same thing, other side, inhale. Exhale, fold, good. Now find your root, inhale, step back, left leg, high crescent lunge, root, bring it up. Good, exhale, hands to the floor, chaturanga, or you can skip that and go right to the bottom. Good, find that root first, then move into your chaturanga, make us. Inhale, exhale. Dog. Left leg reaches up. Inhale. Exhale. Stepping up. High crescent lunge. Press down. Engage that front heel back. Root. Bring it up. Stable. Strong. Grounded. Exhale. Forward fold. Maybe through standing splits. Press. Good. Bring it down. Inhale. Lift half. Exhale. Floor away, inhale, sweep up tall. Exhale, samasthiti. Good. Bending through the knees, utkatasana, think of the root chakra as you bend. Inhale, feel that stability and strength. Hold it here. Many breath. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, lift half. Exhale, down dog or chaturanga. Remember, you can skip those chaturangas. You can go right to down dog, or you can go to down dog to catch yourself for a moment and then move into it. So whatever feels good to you. Finish up. Find your down dog. Good. And then I want you to come back into your plank. Good. Take your left knee down to the floor. Take your left hand just a little forward. We're going to move into side plank. Vashi Stasana with the knee down. Now, I want you to feel like you're reaching your tailbone longer, pressing the hips forward, lifting that leg. Find the root chakra right here. Good. With your rib cage, I want you to feel like you're drawing it back a little bit. Sometimes it's splayed out. In these side planks, draw your ribs back. Feel like ribs drawing to the back of your shirt, hips pressing forward, 
reaching right through that leg, inhale. Good, so a lot of anchoring and root chakra here. Drive the floor away with the bottom one. Good, bring it down, take it back to your down ball. Good, and then come back into your plank. Good, take the right knee to the floor, take the right hand a little forward. Good, as you roll into Bashi Stops in the side plank, feel the hips pressing forward, tailbone anchoring to help lift that leg. So a lot of energy reaching out of that leg, a lot of energy reaching down, anchoring through the low part of the hip and tailbone. Good, feel the hips pressing forward, feel the ribs drawing to the back of your shirt, and press down and anchor into the earth, the floor, with that bottom arm. So a lot of strength we can create just by thinking about what it is that we're doing. Good, exhale, bring your hands to the floor, knees, take it back to down dog. Good, come into your plank. Good, find that root. Now we're gonna do Chaturanga push-ups here, three of them. We're gonna do them on our knees first, just so that you maintain that root chakra. So keep your root chakra here with the knees up, Go ahead and then rocking forward. Take the knees to the floor, really anchor into the root. So I almost want to you to pretend like you don't have upper body strength. And the only thing that's going to get you back up out of this chaturanga push-up is root chakra. That stability down the low part of your hips. So rocking forward, you down halfway. Feel that root, engage the root to bring you up. Good, rocking forward, feel that root strong, engage it to bring you up. One more time. Good. Route through close knee child's pose. Good. And then when you're ready, take it back to your down bow. So we're going to move through a long flow here. It's very easy to get lost in this mentally and stop concentrating on root chakra. I just want you to keep that in your forefront. You're going to discover things or places that you can use root chakra that you might not have recently experienced. So let's keep that stability and strength in the low part of the pelvis and grounding down towards the earth. The most forefront thought in our mind here. Very good. Find your way back to down dog if you're not already there. Reach your right leg up. Bend your knee, open your hip. There's our root right there, strong. Good, now you can stay here or if you wanna flip the dog, go really slow, really slow. Continuing to maintain stability in the low part of the pelvis. Good, and then really pressing those hips up really Good, bring it back to your down dog. Reach the right leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring your knee to your chest, hold it here. Feel the belly strong, the inner thigh strong, but also the root. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, knee to chest again, hold it here. Good, inhale, reach it up. One more time, knee to chest, hold it here, hold it here. Don't reach it up. Take this foot and step it up to the front of the mat. Boom. Now anchor, press down through the front foot, anchor that front heel back, engage the belly, lengthen the spine. Inhale, high crescent lunge. So we're gonna move in and out of this high lunge to a sweeping back, to a sweeping back. So as we fold and sweep those hands back, we kind of lose our root a little bit. So you have to continue to press down and engage that heel, front heel back to maintain some strength there. And then really use that root to compel your spine right back up. Good, exhale. As we fold, we're gonna try and lose it if we don't think about it. Press down through the front foot, engage that heel back. Inhale, use it to come up. Good, one more time. Pressing down, engaging that front heel back. Maintain your root and straight the length of the back leg. Inhale, bring it up. Good, now stay up here. Twist to the right. Good, everything goes crazy right here, right? We all pretty much lost it all. So let's bend to the knee, engage that hip back. You might not have, I did though. <laughs> engage the root chakra. So if you feel tilted forward, start to draw that down. Good, inhale. Good, now exhale, bring your left hand down. Just a little front of your right foot. So maybe the wrist is in line with the toes. Good, wide twisting side angle. Now, root chakra, engage, front heel down and back. Find power in that hip. 
So you can stay right here. You can take the back knee to the floor for a low knee side plank Vashisthasana like we just did, or roll to the outside edge of your back foot. Wiggle walk this leg back for a kickstand. Find root chakra again, engage, reach low, press the hips forward, reach long, press the hips forward, press the arm down, good. Find your root first. Need to get light on this top toe. Good, keep thinking root chakra. Then you start to hover that leg. Keep thinking root chakra, you can stack your figure four. You can reach, hips press forward, ribs draw back, energy shooting out feet, finger toes, crown of head. Good, bring it back. Make your way to down dog first. Good, and then if you want a vinyasa, you can take one. But if you start to take those chaturanga vinyasas, they're getting sloppy, don't take them. Give yourself a moment to rest, all right? We don't want to build bad habits. We're not just trying to power grunt our way through this. We're trying to maintain and create control. So reach the left leg up. Bend your knee, open your hip, reach the right heel. Good, root chakra, fire that. Now, if you want to flip the dog, you can, but I want you to do it really slow, really slow. Good, maintain stability and strength in that way. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands down. Slowly come back, down dog, reach it up, inhale. Exhale, bring your knee to your chest. Good. Inhale, reaching it up. Exhale, knee to chest again. Feel the heart move strong as well as the belly and your thighs. We can do it one more time and hold it there. Good. Look forward. Now land that foot on your mat. Good. Press down through the front foot. Engage that heel. Fire up root. Press strong through the back leg. Feel all this strong. Then come up. High press the blade. So build a foundation first. Don't get up here and then try to figure it all out. Build it from the bottom up. We're gonna sweep a little bit again. We're gonna take a breath in here. Exhale, as you sweep back, notice that you lose it here. You have to continue to press down and anchor that heel back. Maintain that root. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sweep back. Maintain that strength. Bring it up. Exhale, sweep back. Good, maintain that strength, bring it up. Stay up here. Now, twist to the left. And notice it was just all about sloppy. Good. So many times when we move to a pose, we think more about the shape than the energy. So let's find the energy. Press down through the front foot, engage that heel. Ugh. Root chakra draws down. Good, woo -hoo. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, bring your right hand down to the floor, slightly in front of your right, your right toes. So you, really the wrist is in line with your toes. That's the best way to think of this here. Twisting side angle, reach it up. <clears throat> All right, same thing now. We can go to a low knee Vashisthasana side plank. All right, so know that you are gonna have the chance to put your knee down here. Or you can do regular rolls to the outside edge. Good wiggle walk. That foot back to a kickstand. Now, here's where you can be. Or here. Good, so from here, press the hips forward. Feel the tailbone, root chakra fire up. Drive down through the bottom arm. Press down through the outside edge of that back foot. Energy all directions. Maybe start to come up on your toe. Good, maybe start to hover. Figure four, stack, reach, whatever you want. Push the hips forward, draw the ribs back. Root chakra strong, stabilizing. Good, bring your hands to the floor. Make your way back to down dog. If it feels better to route through a close knee child's pose after all that, do that. Good, take it back, down dog. Now, I didn't say chaturanga vinyasa because we're gonna do three chaturanga push-ups here. <clears throat> so inhale into your plank. Good. Now you have the option of the knee down version like we did before. Either way, I want you pressing down through the arms, finding your root chakra. Good, now walk forward. Good, keep that root as you lower halfway. Think about the root 
bring you back up. Again, rock you forward. Keep that root as lower. Think about the root bringing you up. One more time, rock forward. Root. Good, bring it up now for sure. Close knee, child's pose. Good, press it back. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good, if you want to, you can reach your hands back to the arches of your feet. Let your elbows flop open, shoulders flop open. Let your forehead come down to the mat. Think about breathing in to your middle back. Good. All right, make your way back to your hands and knees and back to your down dog. So we're going to take this into another little long standing series. So it's going to have some more balance in it. So we have been doing a little bit of this. If you've been taking any of my other classes online or, or with me at the club. <clears throat> and when we do this series many times, we work through it a little quicker and a little more fluid. Today, we're gonna take that stop and pause, find the root chakra before we transition on. And then understand how to use that root, that strength and stability as we move from one pose to the other. The in between these poses with root chakra is where it's really at, all right? So reach your right leg up, inhale. Bend your knee, open your hip, find your root. If you want to, slowly flip the dog. Keep control, inhale. Exhale, bring the hands back down. Reach that right leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring your knee to chest, hold it there. Good, now keep it there. Step it up, high crescent lunge, good. Here's the difference between just stepping up, activate, press down, draw the heel back, find your root to bring you up. So a lot of stuff happens in between. Now as we move into warrior two, as you spin that back foot down, maintain stability in that root and strength. Good. Pressing out long, pressing down, drawing in, feeling all that energy draw in and up into the low part of the pelvis. Inhale and exhale. Good. Now reverse warrior. Let's go ahead and keep the root. Keep the root as you move into this. Good. Now stay here, keeping the root. On your next inhale, I want you to think about lengthening not just this side, but also your left side length. Good. Now keep the root as we slowly transition into side angle. Feel that right hip anchoring back more. Feel the root get stronger so that as we move into side angle, we can definitely put the arm on the leg. But maybe we don't need it at all. Keeping that root. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale strong warrior two, maintaining that root. Good, inhale, reverse warrior, maintain. Good, and then keeping it as we move into Trikonasana, feel that right hip drawing back. Good, let both hands come down and totally adjust the back foot if you need to. Good, start to straighten out the front leg. Feel that root draw down and back, anchoring that hip in. Hand can be on the floor or on your shin, or definitely on a block on the outside. Now keep that root drawing back, Feel the pelvis anchored inward and upward. And that's going to let the spine rotate. Good. So very stable. So stable pressing down and drawing those heels towards each other. So stable feeling that root chakra drawing down. That maybe we don't need support here on the bottom. Good. It's all supporting the spine here. The spine can rotate and move freely. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor, knee to the floor. Good, so from here, we're gonna make our way into warrior three. I'm gonna step back a little bit so I don't disappear. As we transition into it, this is the important part. So we just don't wanna fly up and wish ourselves the best of luck. Let's go really slow and transition from an almost standing splits to a warrior three. So press your foot down, anchor that heel back. As you lift up, lift that back leg. Supercharged, reaching that back leg back. Inner thigh strong, root chakra drawing down, stable. Good, now we've got some stability. We can start to lift the spine and lengthen. Good, maybe we start to bring the hands up. 
Good, you can even float the arms back. We want you feeling this right hip anchoring back and strong. Feel that root drawing down. Feel the foot pressing down. Feel the back foot reaching. Good, now keep pressing, soften the knee. Press back up. Ooh. Good, soften the knee. Press back up. Good, this time soften the knee. We're gonna hinge, come up to standing. Press the floor away as this left knee comes up. Woo. Good, good, good. Good, now place the left foot on the floor. So we've been working the right leg for a long time. We're gonna transition to the left side just for a moment. So root that left foot down. We're gonna move into tree pose. So finding your balance on your left foot first and then taking this right foot anywhere up the inside of your leg. So the only known spot is the knee. Now I will tell you that pulling it all the way up here is gonna give you a little more anchoring down in the tailbone, but you don't have to do that. You can definitely keep your foot down low and anchor. It's just a little more power if that's comfortable for you. <clears throat> so press that right knee back. Anchor the tailbone down. Soften that left knee a little bit. Find strength. You feel like you're pressing your inner thigh, your foot, foot to the inner thigh. That same energy create we created right in the very beginning when we were laying on our backs with the soles of our feet together, engaging to engage that root chakra. Good. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Good. Now from here, you can let that foot go. Keep that energy and press that knee to the outside. Good, keeping that energy. Or if you want to grab your toe, you can do that too. But it's really important here to plug that root chakra back in. Good, take a breath. Bring it back forward. Bring it down. Good, inhale. Reach up. Exhale, forward, push the floor away. Good, inhale, lift back. Exhale, down dog or chaturanga vinyasa, whatever you feel like, find your root first. We're not just slamming through these. We're feeling strong in whatever it is that we're doing. Kind of make your way back to down dog. And take a breath. So it's much more intense to work slow and strong than it is just to rush through things. <clears throat> All right, reach your left leg up. Bend your knee, open your hip. Reach the right heel down. Now reach up, fire it up. Good, stay here or slowly flip the dog. Slow, maintain that stability. Good, maintain that grounding. Inhale. Good, exhale, bringing it back to your down dog. Reach that left leg up, inhale. Good, now stepping up high crescent lunge, land the foot first, bring it in and land it. Now press down in that front foot, engage that heel. Press through the back, feel the roots strong, then bring yourself up. Good, high crescent lunge. Good, now as we move into warrior two, maintain that downward strength as we spin that back heel down. And then start to open up, pushing that left knee, feeling energy outward, downward, and then inward. Feel that root anchor. Good. Take a breath. Root chakra looks really, really strong in Warrior Two. Now we're going to move into Reverse Warrior. Keep this root instead of softening out of it. Inhale, reverse, and stay here. Good. So much harder to stay with that root and then lift up in the spine in this position, but I want you to stay with it and think about lengthening the right side of the body too. Inhale. Good. Now, as we start to move into side angle, start to anchor that left hip back. Moving back into our warrior too strong and then maintaining even more strength. Anchoring back in that left hip, feeling more root chakra drawing down towards the floor. Maybe you use your arm on your leg, that's fine. But if you're anchored enough and that stability has been built, then you can start to reach that arm too. You don't have to have support to maintain that torso. 
Take an inhale. Exhale, back warrior two. Good, take an inhale, reverse. Good, now exhale, making our way to Trikonasana. So we're gonna get our hands to the floor. We're probably gonna lose a little bit of the root on the way down, that's fine. We might need to adjust that back foot. Might be too far away. We might need to anchor, angle that left heel, that back heel towards the left corner. So let all that happen so that you can be successful here. Start to straighten out your front leg. As you start to straighten that leg out, feel that left hip draw back. This is a great place for blocks too, by the way, if you want to use them. Anchor that left hip back. Press down, feel the both feet, feel the inner thighs draw towards each other. Feel the root chakra draw down. Feel the spine get longer. Good, then maybe start to rotate open. Really maintaining that root strong so that we're not pressing down hard into this left arm. We don't want our left arm to be our support system. We want our root chakra to be our stability and support so that you can lengthen the spine more. You can engage the quadriceps more. And then maybe you don't need this bottom arm when the spine doesn't change. All right, it's very light. Good, take a breath. Exhale, bring both hands to the floor. Drop the back knee to the floor. Good, so we're gonna move back up into that warrior three through a little standing split, going really slow and thinking about that rooting down. So as we start to step up, lift the back leg. Now hands are on the floor. They can walk out in front of you. They could be on blocks too, out in front of you. That helps your spine. So either one, press through that back foot. Good, press down through the front foot. Engage root chakra. So feel the belly engage too. It's part of the party here. Lengthen your spine. Good, inner thighs strong. Start to float the hands up. Good, pressing back long through that back foot. Engaging the belly strong in that left hip. Good, now soften the knee a little bit. Press up. Soften. Press up. Good, this time soften, and we're gonna press up to standing. Push, push, push that floor away. Bring this right knee up. Woo, little knee circles. Awesome, and then put both feet on the floor. Good, root into the right leg. So we're switching legs for a moment. <clears throat> Find your balance in your right leg, a little softness in that right knee. We're gonna move back into Vrakasana tree pose. So as we move into tree pose, know your foot can be anywhere, from the floor all the way up, only no no spot is right in that knee. And then just like I said earlier, if you can bring the foot all the way up, you can be able to engage a little more root, but no worries if you cannot, all right? So from here, push the left knee back, feel that left glute get stronger some stability, pressing downward in that bottom foot. But even more, we're getting a little lighter in that bottom foot and creating the energy up in our root. So foot presses into your thigh, thigh presses into the foot, root chakra anchors down. So all the energy is coming from down low here in, in the pelvis. And then inhale. Reach up. Good, bring it down. Good, now maintain that strength, that connection that you have in the root. Take your hand to the inside and let that foot drop. So very, very easy to let it all go there. Maintain that connection. You can stay right here with a hand on the inside of your knee, or you can grab your toe. Reach that leg out. Then you gotta find the connection again as you open up. And take a breath. Good. Move back into center. Bring it down. Good. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Good, so this time, staying down here, earlier we did peace finger stretch, potted bhustasana, hand to big toe. You can do that again. Or if you want to do padahastasana, which is hand, the, I mean, yeah, hand to foot. <laughs> little blah, blah, <laughs> gorilla pose. Ugh. Been gone from the gym too long. <laughs> Lift one foot up, slide the hands all the way down. So. Fingertips underneath the arch of the foot. Toes all the way up to the wrist if you can do that. Soften the knees as much as you need to to find that. So this is just a little reverse wrist stretch here. But it's also a nice little wrist massage. So you can take those toes and rub them around with the base, base of your hand there. Let the head go. 
Inhale, lengthen the spine just a smidge, and on your exhale, bend the elbows towards the outside again, using a little arm strength to draw the crown of the head to the floor. And then if you're standing on your hands, rock your weight just a little bit into your toes. And just a little more. Good. And you can move around in these elbows, but be careful. This is a precarious position for your wrists to be in. Don't overstress them. Exhale, make your way back to your down dog first. I would never, ever, ever, ever cheat you out of a Chaturanga Vinyasa, so if that is what's rocking your world, do it. If not, skip the down dog. We're getting really close to get to the floor here. We're gonna do one more little standing series, but <clears throat> not near as hard as what we just did. <laughs> so find your down dog. Reach your right leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring your knee to your chest, hold it there because it's really good for you to learn how to do this. Inhale, reach up. Do it again, knee to chest, hold it there, rocking forward, engaging that whole pelvic floor. Inhale, reach up. One more time. Good, now keep it here. Land up at the front of your mat, high crescent lunge, down, drop back, plug in your root, bring it up. Good, and keep it plugged in and move into warrior two. Good, now reach the arms up, straighten the front leg and turn the toes to the left side of the mat. Good, exhale, hinge and fold. Go ahead and walk those hands down. Allow the knees to bend and only fold as far down comfortable as you're possible. Totally can bend the knees here, All right? We're just stretching. We're not doing anything here that really has to do with much more than just chill. Walk the hands forward. Maybe turn the toes a little bit. The lunge to the front. Flex the foot. Good. Allow the feet to angle here. Whatever's comfortable. Lunge to the back. Lunge to the front. Good. And then we're going to walk around to the back of the mat. Just walking around, dropping the back knee. We're going to continue to revolve around the mat until you have a seat on the floor. So what's going to end up happening is your left leg is going to be on top of your right leg. Good. And we're moving into Gamakasana. And your legs may not Gamu. <laughs> they might not want to be right down here. That's absolutely fine because we're going to do more strength than we are stretch here. Little both, both worlds. So I want you to actually for the pile, pick that leg up just a little bit so that you can feel the left hip get a little more anchored down to the floor. Press to the outside edge of the front foot. Press to the outside edge of the bottom leg and foot. And then I want you to press so much that you feel the left hip come up off the floor just a little bit. And then I want you to reach back there, draw that left hip back. Good, so now we're really getting into the piriformis back there. This energy right here pressing down might be plenty for you, but if you want more, you can wrap your hands around your knee. As you start, you can draw your knee towards your chest. Keep pressing down the feet. And then keep drawing it in towards your chest and push your knee into your hands. Getting really strong down there in the hip. You can take a breath. Let's release. Walk your hands around the back of the mat. We're going to unwind all the way back around to the front. Do a little lunge. And then you can take this back to down dog or you can take it through Chaturanga Vinyasa. Whatever you, or you could take it to push-ups, whatever you feel like. Whatever you want to finish with. Do one more time, other side, reach the left leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring your knee to your chest, hold it there. Good, inhale, reach it up. Do it again, knee to chest, hold it there. Inhale, reach it up. Knee to chest, hold it there. And then land it at the front of the mat. High crescent lunge, press down, anchor back. Good, use that root chakra for your stability to come up, and then move into warrior two. Good, good, now reach the arms up, straighten out the front leg, turn both toes to the left side of the mat. Reach your arms back, clasp your hands. Go take the shoulders up, 
and around, and then reach. Good, soften the knees. Reach the hips back and let's hinge and fold. Good, let your head go. And roll around the shoulders again. We're chilling out here. Stretching and moving where we need to move. Good, release the hands, bend the knees, shift the weight back into the heels. Take your right hand to the outside of your left foot or your left shin or calf, wherever you can hold on to. Keep the knees bent first and start to reach the left hand up to the ceiling for a twist. And then to only start to straighten out the legs as they feel comfortable. Good, take a breath. Exhale, bring it down, take the, bend the knees. Take the left hand to the outside of the right foot, ankle, shin, wherever again it feels comfortable. Reach the right hand up, finding a twist. Keeping the spine long. Maybe start to straighten out those legs. Good, bring it down. Now we're gonna turn towards the back of the mat. Turn towards the back of the mat, a little lunge. Drop the back knee and continue to revolve around. So we're back in Gamakasana. All right, I'm gonna turn a little bit so that I can see you. Good, <clears throat> same thing now. Your legs are completely piled. I actually want you to lift this top leg up a little higher. Good, press to the outside edge of that top foot and then to the outside of the left leg, outside, or the bottom foot, bottom leg. <clears throat> okay, good. Press down so much that we feel the right hip lift a little bit. And then anchor that, <laughs> anchor that right hip back. I'm having a really hard time talking today. <laughs> Good, so right now you feel a lot, a lot of strength <clears throat> back there in that hip and also a lot of stretch, so that may be plenty, all right? If you want to go more with your hands around. Good, and draw the knee up a little to your chest. That may be enough, but if you want more, start to press the knee into your hands. So we're really actively stretching those deep muscles in the hip. Try to take a nice breath. Release, walk around back to the back of the mat again. We're gonna unwind all the way back around to the front of the mat. Good, and then we're gonna come to our hands and knees. Press back close or wide knee child's pose, whatever feels good. Good. And then let's make our way to our backs. So one more thing to do here with our root chakra. We're gonna move into bridge pose. So bridge pose is definitely in the back bend-ish family, but it's bite-sized pieces in that back bend family, not really deep. We're gonna think of it more as root chakra strength today. So go ahead and take your feet straight up to the ceiling and feel, feel where they're relaxed up here. I mean, they're probably not relaxed out here, right? They're just kind of straight up. And you feel about what that width is. This is about where I want you to put your feet on the ground. So just bend your knees and just let your feet come down. But that's probably gonna be just about right for you. You can reach down and tickle your, your heels with your fingers. Your feet might be a tiny bit close, maybe scoot them a little bit away. But other than that, that should be good. And then press down to the back of your arms, lift your rib cage up, and really work your shoulder blades under your back. So I want you to feel your spine really lifted up off the floor. All right, so we're, we're already anchored in the shoulder blades. So that we don't have to worry about this up here. We can concentrate on root chakra. Spread the toes out nice and wide. Think again as your feet as tripods, so nice and stable. Front, pinky toe, big toe, heel. Start to lift the hips up. So this is basic bridge. You can work your shoulder blades under a little bit more. Watch for the knees collapsing. Don't let them collapse. Don't let them walk out. All right, just keep pressing on the feet. Now, from here, I want you to press down into your feet Feel like you're anchoring the heels backward. All of a sudden, you're gonna feel the glutes start to work in with the hamstrings. Good, now even more, I want you to press the hips up and really start to feel your tailbone. <clears throat> really working, so feeling very strong at the low part of the glutes, that's your root chakra. But we've gotta use all these other muscles to help support it. So now we're really stable and strong here with our root chakra. Good, now maybe we can take our arms and reach them up without losing that root. And exhale, bring them down without losing the root. Good, inhale, 
about losing the roof each month. So adding something to try and destabilize it just a little bit. Good, two more. Good, keeping that root strong. Really feeling the glutes strong, but feeling more importantly, all the low muscles right there around the root chakra, the stabilizing muscles. Good, slowly bring it down. Draw your knees into your chest. Good, and let's take it back out to that twist like we did earlier. Reach your arms out to a T position. Imagine your legs are a little pencil skirt or your legs are wrapped up. Slowly let them come over to one side. Good, and again, if this left arm comes up, just let it reach, find a comfortable place. Now, you can keep the legs stacked here or if you want to, you can take a hand on your thigh and press it, feel a little more opening in that side body. Or if you want to, you can slide your hand down, grab your big toe. Find a little more length through the hamstring too, whatever feels good. Good, then bring it back in. Pencil skirt, wrap the legs up to bring it back into center. Good, bring it over to the other side. Good, same thing. Notice if this right shoulder is uncomfortable, good. reach it above your head. Good, same thing. You take your left hand on top of that right thigh, that top thigh, and press. And just feel a little more opening up here. Good, or if you want to, reach down, grab the toe. Reach that leg. You can do that too. back into your chest and we're getting ready for Shavasana here so if there's anything else that you'd like to do to complete your practice please feel free to do that I'm going to guide you into a Shavasana and then I'm going to stop the light feed and leave you there so that you're welcome to stay in Shavasana just for as long as you want to all right so thank you all for practicing with me today hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and let's Find our way to our backs. So go ahead and lay down on your back now. If it doesn't feel good to have your legs out straight, you can leave your feet bent, or knees bent, feet flat on the floor. If you want to, you can even take them wide and let them knock in so that you're not having that weird awake jerk thing, trying to keep your knees straight. Take your arms out to your sides, at least a little bit away, turn the palms up, and work the shoulder blades just a bit under your back here. Start to take a nice deep breath, breathing in through your mouth. And exhaling. Let's take a few deep breaths to get into Shavasana. So take a nice deep breath in. Maybe exhale. Sigh it out. And again, a deep breath in. Start to soften your breath. And start to let it return to its natural state of breathing, where you feel that spontaneous, natural breath moving in and out. Allowing yourself some time to relax. And just say to yourself, breathe in, breathe out, relax. And just stay with this breath for as long as you want. Namaste.